welcome to today's On This Day in Tudor History. I'm Claire Ridgeway, which you probably know by now. Um, I run the Amberlynn Files and the Tudor Society, and I've written several history books, including On This Day in Tudor History, um, my book which has inspired these daily videos bringing you events from the Tudor period. Now, I'm actually going to read to you an extract from my book today, of course, for the 26th of June, as that's the date today. And I'm going to take you back to the reign of King Henry VIII, the 26th of June, 1535. For it was on this day that a new commission of Oya and Termina was appointed for the county of Middlesex. Now, if you remember when I talked um, about the fall of Amberlynn, I explained that Oya and Termina came um, from the uh, French to hear and determine, and there were special commissions uh, that were set up for serious crimes, like well, they covered felony, uh, treason, misprision of treason, so serious crimes. So this was appointed for the county of Middlesex. The commission ordered the sheriff of Middlesex to gather the grand jury on the 28th of June at Westminster Hall. This was to try Sir Thomas More, who, according to the indictment, had been traitorously attempting to deprive the king of his title of supreme head of the church. The indictment went on to give details of how when More was examined by the king's councillors on the 7th of May regarding whether he would accept Henry VIII as supreme head, he refused to give a direct answer, saying, I will not meddle with any such matters, for I am fully determined to serve God and to think upon his passion and my passage out of this world. When he was examined again on the 3rd of June, he maliciously persevered in refusing to give a direct answer and imagining to move sedition and hatred against the king, said to the king's councillors, the law and statute whereby the king is made supreme head, as is aforesaid, be like a sword with two edges. For if a man say that the same laws be good, then it is dangerous to the soul. And if he say contrary to the said statute, then it is death to the body. Wherefore, I will make thereunto none other answer, because I will not be occasion of the shorting of my life. On the 12th of June, Richard Rich visited Moore and charitably moved him to comply with the acts. But Moore allegedly told him that subjects could not be forced by an act of parliament to recognise the king as supreme head, saying, a king can be made by parliament and deprived by parliament, to which act every subject being at the parliament may give his assent. But as to the primacy, a subject cannot be bound because he cannot give his consent to that in Parliament. And although the king is so accepted in England, yet many foreign countries do not affirm the same. The trial was set for the 1st of July 1535 with Sir Thomas Audley, Chancellor, Thomas Duke of Norfolk, Charles Duke of Suffolk, Henry Earl of Cumberland, Thomas Earl of Wiltshire, George Earl of Huntingdon, Henry Lord Montague, George Lord Rochford, Andrew Lord Windsor, Thomas Cromwell Secretary, Sir William Fitzwilliam, Sir William Paulette, Sir John Fitzjames, Sir John Baldwin, Sir Richard Lister, Sir John Port, Sir John Spellman, Sir Walter Luke, and Sir Anthony Fitzherbert, all chosen to sit on the special commission of Oya and Termina. Now there are names there that you'll recognise, Thomas Duke of Norfolk, that's Thomas Had, third Duke of Norfolk. You've got Charles Brandon, Duke of Suffolk. Thomas Earl of Wiltshire is Thomas Boleyn. George Lord Rochford is his son, George Boleyn, uh, brother of Anne Boleyn. You've got Thomas Cromwell, secretary, important people like Thomas Audley, the chancellor, um, very important people here being uh, set up uh, on a commission that is going to try Sir Thomas More, who of course was Henry VIII's 
former Lord Chancellor and also a man who had been what I would say is a father figure to the king, one of his very best friends, one of his close supporters. But Sir Thomas More always, he knew Henry very well, I think, uh, to paraphrase, like there's a quote about him saying, you know, if my, if my head would bring him a castle in France, a chateau in France, then it would have to go. And, you know, he, he talks about how, how Henry, Henry is like that, you know, if it was, uh, if it's convenient for him to turn against people that have been his friends, then he will do that. Sir Thomas More knew the king very well. So, uh, of course, Sir Thomas More ends up being executed, sadly. So that's what happened on this day in Tudor history, the 26th of June, 1535. A new commission of Oyer and Termina was set up to sit in judgment on Sir Thomas More. Thank you for joining me and I'll be back tomorrow with another Tudor event for you to enjoy and for you to get your Tudor fix. Take care. Bye bye.